Zach Cummins, your yep. first round. You've never done a Supercross race before, so tell us what it's like. Take us through your day. It's been, it's been a chaotic in some sense. Um, overwhelming in a lot of ways, you know. I'm, I mean, I've done the Monster Energy Cup as an amateur, so it's been, I've had a little bit of a taste of it, uh, being inside the stadium, but I've never been a part of the, the spectacle itself. You know, we're kind of a sideshow there. Um, it's been it's been different. I mean, I've, I for some reason I've been really nervous all day, and I think kind of just the buildup of when you're three years old, you're dreaming of racing Supercross, and then now I'm finally at the point that I'm here. A uh, lot of lot of pressure for myself. You know, the team has been really really encouraging to just have fun and, and get one under my belt. Um, but I just I've got a lot of you know high expectations of myself, and so it's been a very nerve wracking day. I went out for free practice. Got the track down pretty quick. Um, track is good. It's not too tough. Nothing too technical. Uh, and then uh, time practice. Time practice is a little chaotic. Being in C practice, starting in C because I'm the first. My first race. A lot of carnage out there. A lot of guys down. Uh, a lot of red cross flags. A lot of guys going sideways. Uh, that's been probably my biggest challenge so far today. Is being in the C group. Uh, nothing against anyone in it, but it's been chaotic to say the least. I think they'd all agree. So let's take, it, take us through, you've practiced lap after lap. Yeah. What's it like going to a track like like a real Supercross track? Yeah. Is it different today? I mean, I've practiced a lot of, I've been to all the Southern California practice tracks. So I've, I've had quite a few different Supercross tracks in my belt. Um, and I've, I've practiced trying to learn them as quick as I can, because obviously that's what you have to do here. I mean, by third lap, if you aren't doing an obstacle, you're, you're the odd one out. Um, it's definitely different though, because at a practice track, like you're doing it and you've got like your mechanic and your dad or whoever goes with you, you know, your crew watching and that's it. And they know how you ride and you feel confident that they know how you, what you're capable of. You come out here and there's a couple thousand guys just watching practice. And you're trying to learn the track in three laps and sometimes you miss time stuff or, or make a mistake. And uh, it's, um, it's a little more nerve wracking, a little more uh, intimidating or, or uh, scary. Tell us about the team that you're riding for. Yeah, I'm with the uh, Yellow Pages, um, the Nuclear Blast KTM team, and I uh, got a, got the deal done with them just before the Monster Cup of this year. Um, I'm honestly, I'm super appreciative for the offer. Um, I missed, as most people know, the, the vast majority of the amateur series or nationals um, last year with a, a severe head injury, um, so I didn't really have any res recent results for them to go off of, and they took a chance, um, and I'm hoping to deliver for them. Um, the bikes are awesome. Uh, Pro Circuit has done my, I've got Showa suspension that, you know, most guys run in a Cowie, which is bitching, and I'm, I'm comfortable on it. It's really good. Uh, got PC doing the motors, and it, it's good. Thompson, Cole Thompson's been riding really well. Uh, I think a top 10 guy, and so I'm, I'm excited to be with the team. That's cool. You can bring your relationship with Mitch and all that Pro Circuit stuff yeah. into yeah. the mix. Yeah, the relationship with Mitch has been a big help. Um, as far as, you know, like, the team came together, we started to do some stuff a little bit late, and, and Mitch supporting me as much as he does, just stepping up and like, in a day, turning around a motor and dynoing it that afternoon and being like, hey, I'm gonna change some stuff, I think I can get it better, and popping it out, and we're still making progression through the next coming weeks, you know, making the bike better and better. Um, and same thing with Bones helping me out at Pro Circuit, you know, like, the suspension, I think, in my first week of riding the bike, the first six days I rode the KTM, I had seven different forge settings. And they were different ports coming back and forth. Like, they've done a tremendous amount in the limited amount of time I've had on the motorcycle. That's cool. So, I mean, you haven't raced yet, but I want to say, like, what are you looking forward to? I mean, are you, like, yeah. is it real now? Like, you're lining up in front of all this crowd? Like, is it? It's real. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm less nervous now than I was for practice. Um, I think getting through the day safely and, and progressing and getting everything down to where I was comfortable was my biggest concern. I feel really comfortable on the track now um, and the racing environment tends to suit me a little more um, so I'm looking forward to it I think it'll be uh, it'll be really good and it'll be a blast no matter what it's my first one I, I'm just looking to get through the night safe and progress every week um, so it can can't really go bad from here only uphill um, as long as we're smooth and, and finish all our laps and then the plan for you is the west rest of the west coast round rest of yeah I'm gonna do the remainder of west coast um, hopefully the east west shootout I don't know and then uh, kind of see from there, hoping to uh, do the first couple outdoors and, and then see where we're at, yeah. So yeah, man, we wish you luck. Yeah, thank you.